Oh, what a nice afternoon this is already turning out to be on this Thursday. Get out and enjoy it, folks, if you can, because we're continuing to ride the ebbs and flows of this more active weather pattern we've had throughout much of the week. There's a look at all that sunshine across the DC Metro. Now, like I mentioned, there's that milkier sky in the distance as some of that wildfire smoke gets roped back into parts of the DMV. It will not impact our air quality, thankfully enough, but it will certainly filter that sunshine a little bit, but hey, just as beautiful as you go back toward Hagerstown as well and nothing popping up on the satellite and radar picture. Not even much cloud cover there as we continue to sit between storm systems. We see yesterday that storm system that has pushed some rain through. It's well off to our north and east at this point, but our eyes turn back to the Great Lakes once again as some showers and storms are developing over portions of Michigan into Ontario there. And this is a storm system that will drop more into the DMV tomorrow closer than yesterday's storm got to the area. And that means we're going to have a better chance of rain and yes, storm. So it will be dry today underneath that filtered sunshine with some of that smoke and haze high in the sky. Now, starting tomorrow morning, showers will roll over the mountains. And then as we heat things up into the afternoon, storms will fire up. And there is the possibility that a few of those could be on the stronger side. So an active day tomorrow. Then we quiet things down. Just dial up those temperatures again throughout the weekend all the way through Father's Day before an even more active soggy weather pattern takes shape into next week. A lot of rain is in the forecast. Good news to help out with our drought conditions. Now here we go. The storm outlook for tomorrow from the storm prediction center. Well, we've been bumped up not into any sort of high level of severe risk, but it's worth noting we're up into that level one of five now, especially for DC and across the I-95 corridor as we head into the afternoon tomorrow. Here's why. Let's check this out. Future cast all quiet today. We will start to see some clouds redeveloping out to the west as we head into the evening time and through the night tonight as that storm system approaches. Now, like I mentioned, there are those showers around 6 a.m. across western Maryland into West Virginia. Then that main line starts to come up over the higher terrain down down into the eastern half of the DMV mid to late morning tomorrow. And look at that, folks. We are likely to see a broken line of scattered thunderstorms with a few of those having the potential to turn severe on us. So that's something we have to watch out for as we go into the middle of the day and then into the early and mid afternoon. The bulk of those storms should push east then and we should start to quiet down for the most part as we head off into your Friday night. And again, with any of these storms that develop tomorrow, it looks like gusty winds, small hail going to be the highest potential as far as severe weather is concerned. That's what we have to watch out for out there tomorrow. Now beyond Friday, like I mentioned, warming up again with quiet conditions into the weekend. And look at that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, rain chances abound through much of next week.